So, in this video, we will talk about cyber crimes and cyber laws. Cyber crime is criminal activity that involves a computer and a network. It is committed by cyber criminals or hackers who want to make money or damage someone's reputation. At a broad level, cyber crimes can be divided into four overlapping categories: malware attack, information theft, cyber threats, and email crime. Let's understand each of them. Within malware attack, we first have virus. These are programs designed to damage your computer by corrupting system files or wasting resources. Then we have worms, which are programs that can replicate itself in order to spread to other computers. They have the same impact on computer as viruses. Next we have Trojan horse, which seems harmless but it can shut down or misuse websites or computer networks. Next we have ransomware, which extort money by holding the victim's data or device to ransom. Example wanna wanna cry. Another one which is similar is denial of services. It prevents a business from providing a software service to its customers till their demands are met. Next category is information theft. Here first one is phishing where hackers use fake email messages to get personal information from internet users. Then there is identity theft where hacker misuse personal information for financial gains. There are many other cyber threats such as cyber terrorism which uses internet to conduct violent acts. Cyber pornography is using internet to distribute obscene materials. Cyber stalking is next where attacker makes the victim miserable or exert control by online harassment. Then there is cyber squatting which is profiting from the goodwill of someone else's trademark like buying someone else's domain names to resell them at higher price. There are some cyber crimes which use email such as email spam. Here attacker causes an overload of emails causing distress or server crash. Another crime is email spoofing where a person creates email messages with a forged sender address may be leading to identity theft. Now there are various laws called as cyber laws which refer to all legal and regulatory aspects of internet crimes. In India it is enforced through Information Technology or IT Act 2000. It was amended through IT Amendment Act 2008. You should take a screenshot of this for your final day revision. Now we will do a case study on this. Let's read it together. Cyber law is new branch of law and is growing very fast. It establishes norms of accepted human behavior in cyber laws governing e-commerce, online contracts, copyright, trademark, business software patenting, e-taxation, e-governance and cyber crimes. all fall within the meaning and scope of cyber law the media gives a lot of attention to dramatic virus attacks hackers and other interesting internet phenomena in spite of daily horror stories however many people lack an adequate understanding about the reality of these threats identity theft is a growing problem and a very troubling one the concept is rather simple though the process can be complex and the consequences for the victim can be quite severe the idea is simply for one person to take on the identity of another cyber safety addresses the ability to act in a safe and responsible manner on the internet and other connected and connected environments these behavior protect personal information and information and computer technology reputation while i'm reading the questions I would recommend that you pause the video and try to attempt to solve each of them before I give the answer. The first question on this is what is privacy? Here the options are A it is the protection of personal information given online B it is the protection given offline C it is taking care of your family D none of the above. The correct answer over here is A It is the protection of personal information given online. Next question is 
Phishing is a acquiring sensitive information from individuals, harassment over the internet, control over the internet, or none of the above. The, the answer here is A, as we just learned in summary, that it is acquiring sensitive information from individuals. Next question is, what is cyber stalking? The options over here are A, it is harassment carried out over the internet. B. It might target individuals, groups, or even organizations. C. It is done to control or intimidate the victim or to gather information for use in some other crime. Or D. Which is all of the above. The answer here is D. As we just learned in summary that it is the harassment carried out over the internet. Next question is. Ram got a call from a person who identified himself as manager from his bank. He asked for a PIN which has been sent to validate his account. Ram shares the PIN and a few minutes later, a huge sum of money is deducted from his account. Which type of cyber crime is this? The options over here are cyber terrorism, identity theft, DDoS attack or infomania. The answer over here is B, identity theft, as it is used to steal for personal gains. Next question is, cybercrime in India is addressed by which law? The first option over here is India Technology IT Act 2000, India's Digital Information Technology DIT Act 2000, India's Information Technology IT Act 2000, or the Technology Act 2008. The answer here is C, India's Information Technology or IT Act 2000. The next question is, Ronit works in a bank. He needs to send confidential customer information to another branch over the internet. What is the right approach he should use? Here the options are, A, he should send it using his personal mail ID as it is secure. He should send it using his boss's email ID to be sure. He should encrypt the data for secure transmission or he should copy the information on disk and send it only by courier. The answer here is C as he should encrypt the data for secure transmission. The next question is, computer forensics involves all of the following stated activities except first manipulation of computer data, 2. Extraction of computer data, 3. Preservation of computer data, or 4. Interpretation of computer data. The answer over here is A, as it does not do any manipulation of computer data. With this, we come to the end of the case study. If you would like to practice more questions like this, you can visit our website at www dot simply coding dot in thank you and goodbye